back to my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so i did see Catherine put on her story that now youtube updated the notifications so when you click on the notification bell please click that you want to be notified for all notifications so make sure y'all got your notification bell on so y'all be notified every time i upload it feels so good to be saying this y'all i haven't recorded i looked at my calendar it's been a whole month since i recorded my last video went up two weeks ago but i haven't actually sat down and filmed in a month like what is life but i yeah i have had a lot of family things going on so that's why i haven't been filming but your girl is back we better i really need you guys' help we are almost at 10k so i need y'all help make sure y'all are sharing my videos and leave me any video requests i need to know what you guys want to see so please do that if you are not already follow me on the ground because that's where y'all pretty much see everything first so follow me on instagram and twitter at the hair life and i film this eye look i posted pictures on instagram and i did a poll and y'all said y'all want to see this eye look so i did a video for that super easy i only use three colors out the jacqueline hill palette I'm not gonna talk your ears off Let's all right see. so i'm gonna start off by priming my eyes with the ColourPop no filter concealer they have new names so i'm not sure which name this shade is now but i'm just gonna blend that out with my finger you can use a brush if you like but i couldn't find mine so i just use my finger All right, so hopping into my Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to use the shade Cream Sickle with this fluffy brush by Morphe, I believe it's the M504. This is one of my new favorite brushes by them. So y'all already know I love Morphe and Sigma brushes. Those are like my favorite brushes to use. So I'm just going back and forth. I'm just gonna go back and forth using windshield wiper motions until I build this color up to my liking. All right, going back into the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm using the shade Hunts now, and I'm going to use my Morphe M441 brush. It's another one of my, like, holy grail must-have brushes. So I'm just going a little bit below that initial transition shade, and I'm just going to go back and forth in the same windshield wiper motions until I build this color up and blend it in and make sure it's nice and seamless. So I'm just gonna go back in with my Morphe M504 brush with Cream Sickle and just make sure that those two colors are blended together nice and seamlessly. So I'm using a Sigma E25 with the shade Jada. So what I'm gonna do is just pack this all over my lid and then I'm gonna start to blend this color up into my crease area. So as y'all can see, as I'm blending, I'm, I'm losing some of the Hunts shade. So I just went back in with my Morphe M441 brush with a little bit more Hunts and blended that in so I don't lose that color. And then I packed on some more of the Jada shade. But y'all, look at this. So I blended my shadow in, made sure it was nice and seamless. So I took my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. Do y'all see how pigmented the color is with this brush? Like, do y'all see that? This brush is only a dollar. You can get it from Walmart, you can get it from Target, Walgreens, but that is my favorite brush for matte shadows. So recommend that y'all get that brush because it's bomb. I'm going to take that same Jada shade and I'm using a dual ended Morphe brush. I think it's the M156. And I'm using Trophy Wife as my inner corner my highlight. Pop some more. I went in with some NYX white liner. And for my bottom lashes, I put my L'Oreal Telescopic on my bottom and top lashes actually. Then y'all, Walmart played me. I went to go get my Salon Perfect 615s. I went to both Walmarts here and neither one of them had it. So I found these Ardell Wispy Lashes in the number 600 and I couldn't find my tweezers. So I had to put my lashes on with my nails and y'all know I'm all about that tweezer life. So yeah, I got them on there though. So for my lips, I use MAC Cork Lip Pencil. And I did, in the pictures that you guys are going to see, I used Weehoo from ColourPop first, and then I put on the Fenty Gloss Balm. But, um, yeah, I don't know where my Weehoo is right now. Um, yeah, I got to find that. So, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please, please, please leave me some video requests down below. Let's get to 10K. I'll catch y'all in my next one.
to you, I'm so into you. For real, bread like I'm keen to you. If you were 10, I add 10 to you. They be mad when I 10 to you. That's what the bay like. Call me Buffy, cause that's what I slay like. These bitches, I sun them like it's daylight. These niggas wanna know what it tastes like.